Alright, I'm just I'm just saying, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just saying. But here's the here's the here's the here's the here's the crazy part of all this. I'm stuttering because it's it's crazy. Young Living forced the organization to doTERRA versus revive essential oils the doTERRA lawsuit rebuttal what's that all about well this is part three so if you haven't watched parts two and one make sure to go do that so you get all the context this letter which you can see here i'm just i'm just reading off right you just, you see it right here doTERRA media.doTERRA.com this is from doTERRA here you go and then again link description below and this letter is from Kirk Jowers. He's the EVP of Corporate Relations and European Markets. He said, Dear doTERRA leaders, over the weekend, 31 Oils, Compliant Young Living Distributor Resources, and a Young Living Distributor whose Facebook About section reads, I am glad you are here and I would love to welcome you to the YL family. She brought attention to doTERRA's lawsuit against Revive. I have previously updated you about the case and the attached letters. Young Living's posts come prior to the filing of doTERRA's response to Revive's allegations. Later this week, doTERRA will rebut Revive's allegations because of the energy YL has put into promoting Revive's accusations in an effort to distract consumers from some recent negative press regarding the purity of their essential oils. I am providing an update a few days earlier than planned. That's right. So part four is going to go into that a little bit more and they're going to, and then, you know, Kirk is going to cover that towards the end of this video. So make sure to watch this one all the way to the end. Kirk then goes on to say, I might need to turn this sideways because this, ooh, that might be better. You see, did you see what I did there? Hold on. Move it on up, move it on up. Okay, actually, this is this is a lot better to read. Oh my goodness. All right, let me move this way. Okay, 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 okay. All right, now that's situated. He goes on to say, as you know, over the past decade, doTERRA has focused on research, sourcing, and education, while other companies continue to coast off of doTERRA's work and results. We are happy to compete in the marketplace, but Revive's marketing was a prime example of a growing, deceptive, and in Revive's case, illegal trend. Where companies make false claims about the quality, purity, and or sourcing of their oils. Revive was targeting not only doTERRA as the world's largest essential oil company, but also YL with misleading claims in order to drive potential customers to its website. So it's kind of like diversion marketing through you know, maybe trying to find weaknesses or flaws in another company, whether they're true or made up or half-truths. Unlike YL, doTERRA chose to defend its oils and the great people who are sharing its products and released a statement explaining the need to pursue our legal rights. It begins as follows. As the verified world leader in the global essential oils market, doTERRA is often targeted by competitors to increase awareness of their own products through comparison of doTERRA's premier offerings, which include blends. While doTERRA welcomes competition, hey now, the company believes it must respond when consumers are at risk of false advertising. Revive Essential Oils has overstepped legal boundaries into unfair competition by marketing that its oils have the same quality as doTERRA oils and implying that its oils are sourced from doTERRA sources. Whoa, time out. That's huge, right? So if you're saying, hey, we got the same quality, but it's cheaper and they're sourced from the same places, then hey, we're basically the same, so buy from us. It's like, whoa, whoa, time out. How much of that is actually true and verifiable? What? You know, so that's why doTERRA had to step in. Due to Revive's actions, doTERRA has filed a lawsuit against Revive Essential Oil. So, you know, things typically pr progress from like cease and desist letter, and then if things aren't changed quick enough or enough, then it's like lawsuit, basically how things work, in a nutshell. <laughs> Again, this isn't legal advice. This is for educational purposes only. Gotta put that disclaimer out there, because some people are like, you're not a lawyer, Lance. I'm like, I know, I know, I'm just speaking. <laughs> it does not surprise me that a few YL distributors, oh snap, including the one I referenced above, are trying to gain some advantage here by trying to take cheap shots at both doTERRA and Revive with this orchestrated campaign. Ooh, it's getting hot up in here, isn't it? <laughs> no, just me? All right. Ooh, it does surprise me, however, that YL is not confident 
enough to defend its own products from revised attacks and comparisons. Oh snap. It's getting deep, y'all. It's getting deep. See, we say the best for last. If you watch part one and two, you were like, oh, and but then part three is like, ooh. <laughs> Something like that, right? No? Alright, well, we're gonna continue anyway. This is good. All right. Because of the lawsuit, Revive has taken down its illegal and most egregiously false comparisons with doTERRA and has amplified them against YL. I am grateful that doTERRA stands up for Pure Essential Oils, its products, and its wellness advocates and customers. So am I. That's what I'm talking about. YL's 31 oil site and distributors are trying to exploit three aspects of Revive's response. So this is pretty key. So this was covered, you know, in large part in parts one and two, and then it will be covered in part four of my video series too. So, but here we go. He's gonna summarize everything for you. So if you, if you didn't watch the other ones, you can watch this and be like, oh, okay, kind of caught up to speed a little bit. First, that Dr. Robert Pappas was an employee of doTERRA, number one. Second, that one of doTERRA's third-party independent testing labs, the Aromatic Plant Research Center, or APRC, is not truly independent, does not have a functioning main lab in Lehigh, Utah, and is misidentifying the test results that found adulterants in Revive's oils. And third, that three doTERRA oils have issues. doTERRA's legal briefing later this week will answer Revive's and YL's accusations in more detail, but concisely, below are the facts. Again, this is from Kirk Jowers, Executive Vice President of Corporate Relations in European Markets. So this is getting the facts from doTERRA. So with that overview, now we're going to go into details of each one of those three main things that he mentioned. First, Dr. Pappas was never an employee of doTERRA. That's huge. Dr. Pappas was the CEO of Alchemy Aromatics in India, which was a contractor for doTERRA until 2017. Dr. Prabodh Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Spelling will be below. <laughs> Satyal, PhD, worked with Dr. Pappas from September 2013 to March 2017. Later in 2017, Dr. Satyal chose to pursue his dream of offering the highest level of essential oil analysis. His dream came to fruition as he joined forces with an elite team of essential oil chemists and experts to form APRC. Second, APRC is an independent lab, which is located in Lehigh, Utah. Contrary to the YL spin, the lab is fully functioning and has been featured in several APRC videos. By appointment, it is available for tour. More importantly, doTERRA used APRC's Dr. Prabod Satyal PhD because he has more than a decade of meaningful experience including more than 300 hours of organic chemistry studies alone, is world renowned as the leading expert of detecting essential oil adulteration and has published more than a hundred research articles and peer reviewed journals. I think this person has some credibility. Just, I'm just saying, you come to your own conclusion. Contrast to Satyal with Revive's expert, it's going, okay, it's really getting, getting deep now. All right, <clears throat> Adam Christensen, who is a recent 2016, at this time of the, you know, bachelor's degree graduate of Hampton Sydney College, has virtually no, you can't see me, but no experience and has not yet even started a master's much less a PhD program. So they're basically saying, hey, does Adam really have the credibility and authority to be making the statements that he did? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. But let's continue. Surely if Revive truly hoped to plausibly respond to doTERRA, it would have found a PhD. Who could more credibly test doTERRA's oils? Because it seems like the only PhD that Adam really had was a player haters degree. Okay, I'm just, hey, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, they were they was trying to go in on doTERRA. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> let's, let's continue. Mr. Christensen's inexperience and lack of advanced education is critical to understand for the third issue because it is simply impossible for anyone at his level to properly account for the, these are some big words, I'm about to, <clears throat> Veritable cornucopia. Okay. 
I see what your vocab, you know what I'm saying? All right, of chemistry nuances that arise from different geographies, species, and climates. Essential oil blends are particularly complex because of the sometimes hundreds or even thousands. Keyword, thousands of chemical constituents that a blend comprises. That's huge. I mean, you can't just say, look, this one ain't in it. So guess what? It's not in it. You know, I mean, that's what <laughs> you have to find the ideal chemical constituent profile for that species and strain for you to even say that. And if that's not even being compared, then what are you really comparing? Good night. Anyway, we're going to continue. We're going to continue. Third, Revive claims three of doTERRA oils, clove, peppermint, and serenity have different issues. Thus, Revive claims that doTERRA's clove essential oil contains eugenol acetate, which creates a spicy scent. doTERRA clove oil does not contain any adulterants, whether natural or synthetic. Revive next asserts that doTERRA has misrepresented that its peppermint essential oil is sourced exclusively from the United States. doTERRA is proud to use a blend of pure peppermint oils from a variety of sourcing regions, including the United States, and markets it accordingly. Sometimes I think people get so like caught up in the weeds like oh, it's not exclusively sourced from the USA so therefore it's not of quality. You know it's important to know that when doTERRA and other companies get big they have to in order to keep up with demand as well as quality sometimes source from multiple different areas and some people may be like well that's technically a peppermint blend then and why isn't it said peppermint blend because frankincense from doTERRA has blends of different like look we have to look at how things are sourced sustainably, okay? And if they can still provide the desired outcome and benefit based on the, its quality. So many people get caught up and say, okay, maybe it should be called frankincense blend, but it's not. It is a blend of multiple different types of frankincense or peppermint. Maybe it's sourced from different areas, but it's still peppermint, <laughs> all right? I think people get so hung up on stuff. It's like, what is your health priority? Let's start there. Okay, what are some natural solutions that can help? Let's try something. Did it help? Great. If it didn't, are you open to trying something different? Awesome. Let's have that conversation instead of being like, okay, so it didn't have this chemical constituent and it didn't have... Really? Really? Okay, anyway. Look, people lose sight of, the, of what's important. And it's, and it's helping yourself and helping people with natural solutions that are pure, high quality, and from doTERRA. Okay. All right. <clears throat> he goes on to say, we blend peppermint from multiple sources in order to achieve a consistent profile that brings our customers the most therapeutic results. Okay, so that was basically said better than I summarized there, but there we go. Finally, Revive claims that doTERRA's Serenity Essential Oil Blend is mislabeled because it does not contain sandalwood as advertised. Serenity contains sandalwood as the legal filing will show. All right. In sum, the truth is that doTERRA employs full teams of scientists, researchers, and industry-leading professionals as well as contracts out with unbiased third-party testing facilities such as APRC to ensure that its products are pure and exceed our expectations. My intimate knowledge of doTERRA sourcing, testing, and integrity as well as my daily usage of the oils in my and my family's friends' personal health and wellness continues to prove to me that I joined and represent the right company. Wow, that was a powerful statement. I'm with them on that one. And that is very true. I mean, yeah, you have personal experience of yourself, of family, but then also intimate knowledge, which I don't have. Obviously, you can get some of that with source to youcom and check out batch numbers, but it's so important to recognize all that. Now, there was a little, like, additional note here at the end, and it's in parentheses, and it says, Interestingly, after the revived situation arose, a completely independent and third-party group. This is part four of my video series, though. So make sure to watch that. This is a little preview, but we'll just... ConsumerAdvocate.org blind-tested oil sample bottles from 11 different companies and announced that doTERRA was the number one essential oil company and among the few that came back without markers for adulteration. Whoa. That is huge. Like, that... Woo, okay. The report states that its team spent over 600 hours of research. That is a lot of time. The report acknowledged that doTERRA backed up its bold claim that its essential oils are the best on the market. And not just because somebody said so like Jan O'Sullivan did in part two of the video that I did, but because a third party validated that. I mean, you got to look to outside sources that, you know what I'm saying? So. 
Alright, I'm just I'm just saying, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just saying. But here's the here's the here's the here's the here's the crazy part of all this. I'm stuttering because it's it's crazy. The report now only lists 10 companies. And why is that, you may ask? Hmm, you're gonna have to find out in part four. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek. Alright, it says because Young Living forced the organization to remove its findings that YL's essential oils did not pass the test. Hopefully, that issue will be resolved and the findings on all 11 company oils will again be available. Holy smokes. If that's not a sneak peek into part four of my video series, I don't know what is. And, I mean, it's... Whew, that's a lot to take in. So, what's the summary of all that? Well, doTERRA did provide fact-based rebuttals to the main things that Revive had issues with. And doTERRA also provided a reasonable response to Jen O'Sullivan's Facebook Live video. And so that gives you, whether you're anti-MLM, anti-essential oil, anti-doTERRA, or you're for doTERRA and for essential oils, and for network marketing, you know, it gives you more perspective. And it gives you more understanding because we're getting a lot of different perspectives. Again, this video was more focused on doTERRA's response, but part two was the Young Living Distributor, and then part one is more Revive, and then part four, which you definitely want to watch too, is that third party's perspective. And we're going to get into that because that concludes today's video. And make sure to hit the like button if you did. Share this video with somebody that would benefit from all of this information and this data being unleashed upon your mind so you can do your own personal research. And most importantly, check out all the links in the description below. I'll have all my sources, all the four parts of the video, a whole bunch of stuff for your mind to just be like, whoa, here's what I was looking for, you know? like And just kind of package and bundled up in a way that you can more easily absorb. And with that, I will see you in part four.